Hey everybody, welcome back to 717 Scale Motorsports. My name is John, I'm your host, and I'd like to give a shout out to all of my new followers since I posted the last video series of the 49 Mercury. Great to feel such love and support from this community. In this episode, we'll be building up the Revel of Germany uh, VW T1 Camper. Uh, you can see this here. This is a kit from Revel of Germany that I just picked up uh, from the good folks at Burbank's House of Hobbies. Uh, this is a tough one to find. I'm glad that I got to get a couple. So come along with me as I open up the box and we take a look at what's inside. <laughs> Before we start, we'll talk a little bit about the VW T1. Volkswagen introduced the Type 2 bus, which is actually what this is. It's the Type 2 T1 model in 1950. This was the first generation of the Type 2, it was also known as the T1, a little bit confusing, and it was based on the Type 1 Beetle. These early vehicles featured what's now a classic hippie design with the sloping trim lines, the large chrome VW emblem uh, in the front, and the split windows uh, up front as well. It came in a variety of body styles and variants, including pickup trucks, panel vans, and what we have today, the camping vehicle. Uh, this is the feature, this is the feature that's most, the camping vehicle is the most notable probably, the camper is probably the most notable variant of the T1 Type 2, and this was known as the Westphalia. Uh, European production of this vehicle ended in 1967, but it continued to be built until 1975 in Brazil. The Westphalia, as I mentioned, is one of the most well-known varieties of the Volkswagen Type 2. It's commonly known as the Westie, and it's named after Westfalia Werke, the company the Volkswagen originally contracted with to build these camper vans. These vans featured modified interiors designed for camping or overnighting, and while West Westphalias are common, while, Ves <clears throat> while Westphalias are commonly fitted with the pop top roof that increase the interior size, not all of the Westphalias have this version. Our kit, though, today does. As I mentioned, this type T1 type. So what we're going to do today is start unboxing this bad boy, seeing what's in the case, and taking a closer look at all of the pieces. Now, I will note that this is a level five kit, so this is a complicated kit. It does have over 180 pieces, 189, according to the box, and a lot of these pieces are really, really small. So I'm excited to get into this box, take a closer look at all of these pieces, as well as the instructions and the decals that come along with it. So before we open the kit up, I thought we'd take a closer look at the box. You can see the really, really fantastic box art on the front of this. It's a nice drawing of the Westphalia, a little beach scene going on there. Now, some of these accessories that we see in the box art, like the little beach chair that's down here at the bottom, uh, the, the uh, carpet that's there, and uh, the bowls and the little Kleenex, I guess that's a Kleenex container there, are not, I don't believe, included in this kit. Uh, but you will see when we get this open what all is included. Uh, this is a great box. It's a small little thin box, something that we're not used to seeing uh, from Revel uh, US. Uh, you can see you got the same sort of uh, image on that side there. Uh, and this is actually a really fantastic kit. It's about 18 uh, centimeters long, so it'll be a decent size kit. And like I mentioned, it's got 189 parts to it. If we turn around and take a look at the back, you can see a closer look at some of the interior pieces. Uh, you can see here uh, the parts tree is over here, as well as the detailed engine compartment at the bottom, uh, and some of the details that you can see inside the kit. Uh, this model has the benches and the pull-out tables uh, in that really neat uh, gingham plaid kind of um, uh, pattern that is actually a decal. Um, you can see the interior here, uh, the driver's seat as well. And then over here, we can see a little more of the interior, uh, that other bench uh, seat in the back, as well as uh, these shelves that are on the door that opens up. Uh, over here, you can see a little bit closer look at the completed vehicle. You can see this does have the two roof racks included, and those are very, very finely 
engraved parts, as well as the pop-up camper, which of course was uh, a trademark part of the Westphalia. You can also see the louvered windows that you get in this kit. You've got three on this side, a really neat little touch. And you can see here, I think that the, uh, the front windows do pop open. Now, this is a multi-piece body, and I have seen some others uh, on YouTube that have built this that have had a little bit of a problem with the body. I'm hoping that I don't have that same problem. Uh, on the back here, you can see Revel of Germany have given us color combinations. Uh, I will not be following those. I'll be discarding those and using my own colors, and I'll talk about the colors in a little bit. Uh, but you can see, as it says up here, this is a level five kit. Um, so there are a lot of pieces, a lot of details, uh, and this ought to be a really challenging build. So I'm really excited to get into this kit and see what we can make of it. So here we can see all of the individual pieces that are in the kit. You can see they're all neatly bagged up. Uh, they really come in what looks to be about four different colors. We've got uh, the plain white here and here, and then we've got three shades of gray. Of course, lots of clear pieces for the windows over here, and down here, just a few little chrome pieces, including that neat little VW logo. Let's take a closer look at each of these pieces in turn, and we'll talk about some comments and see what we've got in here. So the first bag that we have here is um, this bag. It includes uh, the body parts. You can see this would appear to be the driver's side of the kit. It includes one of the doors for the back. Uh, it also includes the passenger side. So we've got the two sides of the vehicle. We've got the two doors to the vehicle. And we also have the back engine compartment cover as well as the roof. And you can see they've got the nice cutout for the roof here. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera. It looks pretty good there. There's a really nice ledge right here that goes around this opening. This is really, really crisply molded. Um, these are, it's a real nice looking kind of plastic that Revel of Germany has used here. I don't see any sort of indications of any warpage, uh, maybe a little bit there on the sprue, but the piece itself doesn't look warped. Uh, I don't see many um, uh, mold lines. There's a few here and there, nothing that a little bit of cleanup won't take care of. Uh, I can see why some folks would have had some issues with putting this together. You can kind of see this body piece is a little bit warped here. And that's because this, I guess, is so thin. Look at how thin this plastic is molded up here. So I can't really blame them for that. It, it could just be the way that this plastic is, is, is sitting in the container. But all in all, these pieces look pretty good. So let's move on to the next set of white parts. This is another uh, bit of the body here. Uh, as well as uh, some additional door panels uh, and um, uh, the engine cover. I don't know if these are uh, alternate pieces, alternative pieces, um, or sort of what they are. Um, kind of interesting the way they've done this. I know this kit has been used several times. It was first issued in uh, 2008, and it's been reissued a couple of times before. So these could be artifacts from an old version. Uh, here you can see the driver and passenger side door, uh, the bottom part of the engine compartment, uh, as well as the front of the van as well. Again, nicely engraved, really nice engraving along um, this front panel line here. That's going to take paint really well. A little bit of ridge here around the uh, headlights, so that'll be really nice, uh, as well as, I guess this is a spare tire cover here, so that's kind of fun. Now we have the chassis in here. Uh, along with what I believe is part of the uh, bottom or perhaps the top of the engine compartment where the spare tire lives. Uh, we have plain white bumpers on here, uh, which is interesting. And that makes sense because they were white uh, on the model itself. So we'll make sure that those stay uh, color coded to the rest of the car. Uh, you can see again, the engraving on this interior piece is really nice, really fine, delicate engraving ribbing there on the floor as well as in the back. Now, most of this is going to be covered up, um, but the fact that it's there, that they took time to think about engraving the little pieces here, uh, as well as all of these mold lines, or not mold lines, but all of these engraved marks uh, here really goes to the quality of this kit. Okay, the next, okay, the next parts that we'll take a look at are these. 
Uh, these are the light gray pieces. This obviously is the chassis. Uh, you can see the seats here, uh, both the top and the bottom of those. So again, really nicely engraved, nice engraving on those. Uh, you can see the, the ridges here, uh, and that'll be really nice. I believe these are going to be covered with the plaid decals uh, when we get to that part, but that's gonna look really nice and, and really realistic once those decals go on. Uh, here's some additional parts in the lighter gray. This is the interior uh, of the driver's bucket. This goes up against the front of the vehicle. Uh, then we have some additional seats. These are the ones that we saw that are in the back of the car, uh, as well as some other parts uh, here as well. So we've got the overhead console, uh, parts probably of the steering column, the shift lever, and so on. Again, very fine, very delicate molds. Uh, you can probably see those on there, uh, how fine and delicate those are. So those are going to be a really challenging to uh, get off and get detailed. But again, this is a level five kit. It is a hard kit. Um, so I'm expecting a bit of a challenge, but I'm also expecting to see a really fantastic uh, finished product. Now, here we have some other additional pieces. These are in sort of a medium, almost a metallic gray. Again, some additional bumpers, uh, I guess, for other alternative versions. We've got the uh, mirrors on here. You can see those down at the bottom. You can see how nicely and finely detailed those are. Uh, you can see a lot of the other uh, pull bars uh, and, and racks and so forth that go on throughout uh, the interior of the vehicle. You can see how finely uh, engraved those are. I know I keep saying that. Um, we've got the steering wheel here up at the top uh, that looks super nice as well. On this kit, we have the, the engine, uh, the transaxle, and actually for some reason the dashboard uh, is molded in this metallic gray. That'll actually be uh, sort of an off-white color when the car is, is finally made. But again, you can see a lot of those really finely detailed uh, pieces. They're so delicate. Uh, I'm going to have to make sure I've got lots of new sharp number 11 blades to get these off of the sprue. Next up in another medium gray are some accessories. And here you can see uh, th these are sort of the racks or the shelves, I guess, that go on the inside of the door. You can see them on the kit itself. They're right there. Um, we've also got the uh, storage lockers that go in the back of the vehicle. We've got uh, these wonderful, the wonder, absolutely wonderful roof racks here, the larger one for the front, or I should say this, the smaller one for the front, the larger one for the back. You can see again uh, how nicely and neatly engraved those are. Uh, we're going to try something different when we paint these. We're going to try to uh, make all of these interior pieces um, that are supposed to be wood grain actually look wood grain. So in other words, you can see sort of this cabinet piece here is actually this cabinet piece right here. Uh, and you can see in the uh, vehicle itself, um, this out of the way, uh, in the vehicle itself, that is uh, wood grain. So we're going to try to replicate that wood grain on this plastic as well. So that's going to be super nice. Uh, we've got some other small pieces. These are the pop tops, uh, parts for the pop tops to go up top of the, of the van. Again, a challenge, but it's going to be a good one. Uh, and we've got more pieces for the interior. We've got uh, the, the cold box or the ice box, refrigerator, if you will, another little storage cabinet. Uh, we've got the, the top of the pop top itself. Uh, and it looks like another piece here um, that goes in the engine compartment. We saw this in the white before. So I suspect there are quite a number of um, variations up for this kit that were planned or are planned. Uh, interestingly, I like this. You can see up here at the top the uh, curtains. So these curtains are molded uh, in. They're plastic. They'll glue on the insides. You can see them uh, back here kind of on the, the windows here, uh, there and there, if you can see those. And those will get detailed um, with a decal. So again, lots of decal solution on that, but I think those are going to look really nice when they're done. Here we have the chrome tree. You can see uh, the, the pieces that I'm the most interested in here are the, obviously the, the baby moons. Here you can see the VW engraving on those, super nice, and this nice, beautiful uh, chrome VW emblem for the front. So last but not least are the clear parts. Uh, we'll start with this sprue. You can see the windows that we have here and these really nice jealousy windows for the side of the vehicle. That's going to take a little bit of detail painting. 
to get those colors to look just right. But that's a really nice, uh, really uh, nice little little uh, added bonus there. You can kind of see hopefully on here, they actually are molded in what appears to be the open position. So uh, that's kind of really, really a neat little uh, tweak to this. Uh, we've also got them, if we want to, uh, molded in the closed position. So again, many of the same parts, just on separate trees. Uh, and then we've got more windows here. Uh, these are for the other sides, I suppose. And then last but not least, these clear pieces. All these clear pieces are super clear. Uh, I see very little, if any, indications of any scratching or weird molding lines or anything like that. So again, all in all, the pieces in this kit are absolutely phenomenal, which is what I would expect from Rebel of Germany. So I want to take a look now at the decals, and I've been talking a little bit about these as we've shown the other pieces. You can see this is a tremendous decal sheet. We've got, uh, actually, I don't know how well this shows up, but it looks like we've got chrome trim for some of the windows, or at least silver trim for some of the windows. But what's most interesting is this upholstery decaling that goes on the seats in the vehicle, as well as the decaling that goes on the uh, window shades, the, the curtains inside the window. Those are going to be definitely a challenge to do, um, but I think if it works out the way I expect it to, it's going to be quite um, impressive when it's done. You see here across the middle, we've got the decals for the dashboard. Uh, we've got a number of different license plates, both uh, European uh, and uh, US versions. Uh, probably wind up making my own. Uh, we've got a few uh, travel stickers for the back windows. Uh, actually, more than a few, we've got about 10 of them. Uh, some additional license plates and some, I guess it's called under hood, even though this is a rear engine vehicle. Well, let's just call it some engine decals here. Uh, so really interesting, nice looking uh, piece of decaling sheet here from the folks at Rebel of Germany. And then last but not least, we have the decal book. I can't even call this an instruction sheet. This is literally an instruction booklet. There are literally 23 pages in here, um, very detailed instructions. Uh, each piece, each instruction, I should say, each step is just a few pieces. So, so they've really taken the time to break these uh, parts down and these builds down into the smallest pieces possible, uh, which is really nice. Uh, you can see they call out different colors. Of course, I'll be using my own reference materials for the colors as we go through this, but it definitely shows us um, where to cut, where to glue, where to paint. I mean, it's a wonderfully detailed uh, instruction booklet and calls out decals as well as paint colors, as well as where you glue and, and paint as well. So really fantastic look. Um, you can see this is a on a very high gloss paper. And you can also see in the front of this instruction book, you can see they give you uh, a breakdown of the parts. And as I mentioned, there are a number of parts that are appear to be duplicates. And those are the ones that are shaded out uh, on the, in the instruction manual here. So those are duplicate parts. There may be for another version of this uh, camper bus, uh, as the case may be. You can see there's a number of them that are just duplicate pieces. I guess it was just less expensive to just mold everything together and use the same molds and just put them in different boxes. So good on Revel of Germany for providing all of this. Uh, again, they provide using the Revel, the new Revel paints, which I won't be using, uh, but it gives you the paint numbers here, like the silver, uh, their gray silk is number 374, for instance. They also tell you how to mix some. There's a color here that you need to mix 95% green and 5% yellow. So uh, interesting way that they did that in terms of the colors, the recommended paints. Uh, the recommended glues uh, and uh, uh, other things as well. So actually a really good kit. Uh, I'm very happy with everything that I've seen so far. Uh, I'm really excited to get into this and start talking uh, and showing you what and how we build this. So thanks for uh, listening and thanks for hanging around and we'll be back next time, uh, hopefully when we be, are able to start building.